Hello guys, so last time we talked about the React compiler and how it can improve performance of your applications without you having to change anything. So if you haven't seen it, please go and take a look on how to set this up. So in the same spirit of uh, identifying slow components in our app and fixing them, we are going to check out the million lint plugin that has also been released recently. So for those who don't know, so for those who don't know, million.js is an optimizing compiler that when you install in your app, optimizes the rendering times of React by making your apps faster by at least 70%. So they do this by skipping the diffing process, which React does when uh, rendering your components. So they have released a new tool that is powered by million.js that is called the million lint. So we are going to try it and see what it does to you help improve the speed of our apps and components. So to set up million lint, you need to do at least four things. You need to install the million lint package. You need to integrate it with your setup. So whether you're using Next.js or Remix or Astro or Vit, there's a configuration for how to set it up. And then there's a VS Code extension that you have to install to be able to see the hints in your editor. And then you start the dev server. So you're going to go through this process and see how everything works. So first, you need to install million lint and the million dependency. And and then you need to set it up with your build setup. For me, I'm using Vite, so you're going to use Vite to set it up. So there's two plugins you're setting up. So first, we need to set up uh, the million plugin that installs the million compiler. So we need to import the million compiler. And also, we need to import the million lint uh, plugin from uh, at million lint. So let's put uh, the plugins above React. So we could start with the million uh, compiler. So million dot feet with the auto set to true and also the million lint uh, dot uh, with plugin like that. So this way million lint is automatically enabled for our project. So the next thing we need to do is install the extension that sets it up. So let's look for million lint. So this is it. Good. And then once it's installed, we can now check it out. So if you look at our browser window here, there is uh, some sort of uh, tooltip here that shows that million JS is working. So let's try clicking around so you can see that when i click the count variable we are rendering every single component under the app here so we are rendering the counter and the fruits components too as well as the app components as a whole so if you look at our editor screen here notice that there are some hints that have been uh, added here so once components re renders we are able to see in our files here how many times things are re rendered or called so like here we are seeing uh, values change 10 times and if we scroll down you'll be able to see more details on the the rendered components so here are being told that the component was rendered four times and then the problems that are being caused are by multiple renders you see here that this is recreated every time the parent component renders that is the fruits to emojis function so if we go to the counter component too you'll also be able to see how many times it rendered so this value has changed eight times you see that this component was rendered four times and you see the reason why here this is recreated every time the parent component renders so you may want to memorize the values so same to the fruits component Component, you also be able to see what is causing re renders. So here we are seeing the fruits to emojis function has been passed four times. So every time uh, you increase the count variable here, the fruits to emojis function is recreated and passed to the component. And you can see here it has been passed five times, causing the component to re render five times. So you get very useful hints out of the box on your slow components and what you can do to speed the components up. And also another thing about the VS Code plugin is if you open it here, you can be able to see the analysis is here of all your components and how many times they were rendered so if we refresh the page so you get useful stats like core web vitals where you can inspect the first contentful paint the lcp and all those variables you can also look at the components and how many times they were rendered in real time so if you re-render the components by clicking around you can see here how many times the components were rendered and what was causing all those Re renders so you can click on the components to inspect and then million lint will tell you what is happening so let's try to make these improvements that uh, million js is uh, suggesting here so they are saying that we may want to memorize the fruits to emojis function here so let's memorize it they use 
callback hook to memoize this so that it's only called once because it doesn't depend on any dependencies in this component so also let's go to the fruits component here so here we may also want to memoize the call to the fruits to emojis function here so we use uh, the use memo hook where the first uh, variable is the function that you want to memoize and then the second argument is uh, the dependencies that you want to memoize that is the fruits to emojis function that is passed to it that way emojis doesn't get recreated every time the component renders and also mm, we may want to also memoize the fruits function here so that uh, it renders as, uh, only once and also the counter component here since it doesn't receive any props from the outside let's also memoize it so with that we can refresh the page and then test the suggestions that have been provided with so right now when you increase the count for the app component here it doesn't render any everything just renders the app component itself so let's look at the million lint tool here now we see that uh, when re-rendering the app only the app is re-rendered and uh, the counter and the fruits component are not re-rendered so they're only rendered once so i don't know if you guys can find this useful but um but i think uh the useful thing i found with this is that it helps visualize inside your code uh, the things that are doing slow work so like you see a specific line and you see how many times it was rendered and how long it took to render it and then you can now optimize from there and then you get hints on uh, why the component is rendered and what we should fix to reduce the amount of uh, renders so at least here you get visual analysis and you can read through it but if you don't need to use this toolkit you can still just use the million.js library and automatically speed up your components without having to change anything so it just makes your app fast by default i think that is uh, pretty pretty cool so thank you so much for watching and i'll uh, see you in the next video